So this is going to be mostly just a practice video, so there's not going to be many explanations from me, those have been in the previous videos. You are going to be working out the answers to these eight questions, plus have a go at the challenge. And there's an example here which shows you what a uh, perfect working out should look like. So any what you see here in this purple box, the working out should be going down the page, nice and neat, and every row should have should be equivalent to the row above or below it. So pause the video here, and then I'm going to show you the answers on the next part. Okay, so hopefully you've had a go um, with all of these questions, and I'm just going to show you the answers now. This is the easy bit. So here's the answer to question one and two. Mark it, pause it if you need to. I'm just going to go a bit quicker this time. Here's the answer to question three and four. Here's the answer to question five and six. Here's the answer to question seven and eight. And that covers the exercise. Now, let me just go back for a second. If, for example, you did for question one, if you did 84 plus 37 first and 63 plus 16 second, that's still the same thing. You're allowed to do that because of the commutative um, rules, uh, commutative law. So don't worry if that order is different. The second line should roughly come out uh, similar as to what we've done. So hopefully you found that useful. We're going to now move on to the challenge example here. Now, hopefully you've spotted something. We've got two times three. Now, this is the same as two lots of three or three lots of two. Now, if you have three lots of two, that's just the same as two plus two plus two. So it's just another way of writing what you see here because multiplication is just repeated addition. And what you can do here is this isn't the commutative law itself, but it's just a nice efficient thing here. We, we can actually add two to each of these terms because when we have plus two times three, that's basically the same as plus six. So let's just tidy this up a bit. So what you see here, is we are going to get 98 plus 998 plus 98 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. You distribute the 2s amongst all of these and we know that this is going to be 100 plus this is going to be 1000 plus this is going to be another 100. So this turns out to be 1200. If you got that right, well done, brilliant, good work. Okay, so uh, we'll see you in the next video where we're going to start matching up some of these uh, laws.